Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be looking at David Hasselhoff on defense here. <laughs> um, yeah, Union costume. Don't know what the hell they were thinking with these redesigns. Going from, like, Middle Eastern statues to, like, Jersey Shore. Crazy. But anyways, um... Max Emblems, I think he's better on defense than anywhere else, so this would be the right place to test him. Uh, slow speed, deals 176% damage to all enemies, not very much, uh, especially with a lower attack stat, but he's got pretty great stats, actually. All enemies receive 411 sand damage over three turns, that's going to go up with, um, with troops. All allies get plus 33% mana generation for three turns, which is quite significant, and cleanses status ailments from all allies. So there's a lot going on there. Kind of the perfect person for defense because all of those things are... There's just a lot going on. There's just a lot of stuff in there, and I think this stuff is better suited for defense, especially the 33% mana generation because... On defense, every hero is gaining mana every turn, regardless of what's going on. Um, whereas on offense, it's only based on matches that you're making, and you can only make, you know, one match per turn. So um, that limits how much mana you can gain per turn, unless you're playing Gemstone Legends, which you can make three matches per turn, and you can get mana of all different colors. So one cool thing about Gemstone Legends. Um information in the description if you are interested in checking that out i do recommend it so pretty good defense across the board we got three kinds of dots sand fire and poison we've got a limit broken krampus look at those stats almost 1100 on defense uh, i think that's the highest defense in the game even in terms of limit broken heroes uh, maybe there's one that's higher. I don't actually don't think so. I don't think there's one that's higher. So, super good. Uh, for that reason, I'm going to go with a green team. Kingston resists the burn damage. Uh, maybe we can take out Krampus early on. But we'll be primarily trying to show the performance of Costume Yunin. Um, so, let's jump in here. <laughs> So if we look at the card now, it's saying 567 sand damage over three turns. So we're creeping up on 200 per turn. <clears throat> when you add in the poison damage and the fire damage, that is pretty dangerous. They have two cleansers on this team and taunt. So quite good in my opinion. So... Trying to get this last match without having to use the diamond. Close call. Alright, so we'll block this side. We'll let Yunin do his thing. Well, that was a pretty fortunate board that we got there. So, you can definitely see that he is slow, right? Mm. Just don't want to kill Bira in case this doesn't go my way. And uh, then I won't be able to rematch. So, let's see what we got here. Dealing it from... So, 260 was Phileas Fog because he has a damage reduction. But that was like a little bit over 300. Which, again, is going to be higher on defense than it will be on offense. But that was pretty good. And then we're looking at 190 per turn. Um, I think I would have taken Jean-Francois out of this team put someone a little bit more impactful because I think the damage 
dot damage from Bira and Yunin would be enough on its own. So let's just simulate what that would look like. And that's for three turns, which is pretty good. So then now I'm taking 189 sand, 95 poison. Uh, they're all dispellable. But that's a lot. That's a lot of damage chipping away. Um, so we'll try to let him fire one more time here. see this damage one more time it was more than I thought it would be so yeah I don't whether you should have sent him or not if you have him and that's why you're watching this video of course depends on what your options are all right so like 250 why was it less that time that was weird so you're getting also the costume bonus here, plus 1% mana generation. Um, these numbers are all reduced from what they are for the Season 1 heroes, which truly did need the biggest boost, uh, but it's kind of funny to even give 0.1% mana generation. Um, didn't show what that 33% looks like, but I think people are familiar with what that looks like for other heroes, and it's going to be significant, and to have that across all all allies is quite good that's better than i think that's better than odin's um max mana that he can give even with you know you need a lot of yellows on the board to achieve that so quite good um yeah i think that shows what i wanted to show you can see what his damage is like you saw what his stats were like you saw what that sand damage can get up to uh he has a crit troop on him i think i honestly would have gone with a um, mana troop, if you have a high enough leveled one, maybe even a ninja troop, just to try to max that dot damage. If you're in the reverse formation, he's kind of tucked away and a little bit less vulnerable. If he was a tank in war or standard formation, then I could see um, wanting to have a crit troop on him for that added defense and health. But when you don't need those things, I don't think uh, I would go that route because his dot damage could be even higher um so yeah better than he was before in my opinion um wow yeah and he's pretty pretty tanky um so let me know what you think in the comments down below i'm pleasantly surprised i think his art design is horrendous and i thought it was a joke when i first saw it but it's real. Um, <laughs> so if, if you had him maxed and you got the costume, that's a no-brainer. If you didn't have him maxed and you got the costume, I suppose if you really need a good green tank, I don't think... He's not as good on... The last thing I'll say, he's not as good on offense, in my opinion, because all that damage is going to be reduced. And you don't really want to be counting on a slow hero for your cleanse. So the fact that he cleanses all allies is great on defense, but not so good on offense. Maybe if you're using him on like a green mono team, um, and that way you're getting the most out of that 33% mono generation because you're only matching greens for the most part. And then you have him with another cleanser, so it's just kind of a bonus cleanse that could come in handy sometimes, but I, I certainly would not rely on him as the only cleanse because... Slow heroes takes a lot to get going. You're putting yourself in harm's way if, if you're doing that. So if you have used them, let me know what your experience has been in the comments below, what sort of teams you liked them on. Um, any of that kind of information helps all the other people coming to this video to try to learn. So uh, be sure to share your experience and please leave a like on this video. Go click the like button right now. One click. Click the subscribe button. One more click. And uh, yeah, really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.